Hi, I'm Ivan from WebWash, and today I want to show you a single feature in the menu block module. Now, menu block allows you to add menus into blocks, hence the name menu block. And you can also specify how many levels you want displayed and also which menu level to start at. Now, some of this functionality was added into Drupal 8. That is the ability to add menus into regions and also to control the menu levels. However, the module offers more advanced functionality. But the one feature I wanna show you today is the ability to add custom theme suggestions for a menu. Now, let me explain this. Let's jump over to a Drupal site. And here you can see a stock standard Drupal 9 site. And all I've done is I have added in a few menu links. Now, right now, the main navigation is automatically added to the header because that's how the theme was configured. But let's imagine we wanna add the main navigation into a sidebar or a footer. But in this example, let's add it to the sidebar. So click on structure and then block layout and scroll down till you see sidebar and then search for main navigation and click on place block. And here you can control the menu levels, which I mentioned, and this is new for Drupal 8 and above. And then click on save block. Then if we click on save blocks down at the bottom and go to the homepage, we can see the main navigation here in the sidebar. And now let's inspect the sidebar menu. So right click, click on inspect, and let's try and find the actual menu markup. So it can be a little tricky here. So here we have the block. And then if we scroll a bit further down, we can see the actual menu. Now, all of this theme information is added because I have enabled Twig Debug. I'll leave a link to the documentation for this, but essentially all you need to do is configure the settings.local.php, which is called in settings.php right at the bottom. Most of the time this will be commented out. So all you need to do is copy over the local, the settings.local, uncomment this bit of code in settings.php, and then this settings.local then pulls in this development services.yaml, which then needs to be configured and you need to add in the twig config debug permission. Now, when I think about it, there are multiple steps, but don't worry, I will add a link to some documentation about how to turn it on because what this allows us to do is we can see exactly which template is being loaded up and also, most importantly, the other template suggestions. Now, Firefox, for some reason, just adds the template suggestions all on a single line, but if you click on it, it'll display it with a line break. And I do believe Chrome actually formats it a bit better. But anyway, here you can see the actual template suggestions. So what menu block allows us to do is that we can specify our own template suggestions, which means if we wanna heavily modify the menu using a custom tweak template, we can specify our own template essentially. Now, of course you can do this by overriding, I believe the hook template suggestion or something like that. But by using menu block, you can do it without writing any custom code. So here you can see that the menu in the sidebar has multiple suggestions. You have menu.html, then you have menu dash dash sidebar, which is the region name, and then you have menu dash dash main. And then if we inspect the main navigation right up the top, we should see similar suggestions. So we can see menu.html, we can also see menu dash dash main, but we can also see menu dash dash primary menu. So if you are displaying the same menu in multiple regions, but want to change the look and feel for one particular region, then simply override the template, which is using the region name. But what if you want to have a second primary menu, which can be displayed into multiple regions? So you couldn't rely on the theme suggestion, which is using the actual region name, but instead you want to be able to specify the theme suggestion yourself. So let's install menu block and I'll show you how to do it. 
So let's close the inspector and let's jump over to our terminal and type in composer require Drupal slash menu block. And then let's jump back into our site, go to extend and then search for menu block. And here you can see it and then click on install. And now if we go into structure, blocks or block layout, and then let's find our sidebar main navigation. You can see it right here. Click on configure. Let's first remove this placement. So scroll down and click on remove block. Now this will simply remove the block. It won't delete the menu. So click on remove and let's scroll back down and click on sidebar and search for main again, and then click on place block. And now we should see all of these extra options. Previously, we could only see menu levels. Now we can see advanced options and also HTML and style options. This is the option we are after. So scroll down, click on save block, and then click on save blocks. And let's scroll back down to sidebar and then configure the block and then click on HTML and style options. And here we can specify our theme suggestion. So let me just enter in primary sidebar and then scroll down and click on save block. And if we go to the home page, we can see our block here on the right. And then if we inspect, now one thing you'll notice is that we cannot see the template information. And I've just noticed this recently, and that is when you run a composer command, such as composer require or composer remove, it actually copies over a new version of the development.services.yaml. And so it essentially overrides what we added in. So all we need to do is here, you can see it's no longer there. Let's just chuck it back in. So that is twig.config and then debug. Let's run drush CR. And then if we jump back in and refresh, we should see the template suggestions. Here it is, perfect. And now if we hover over the block, we can see all that stuff. And most importantly for us, we can see our menu dash dash primary sidebar. And if we wanna add in the menu into another region, so let's just imagine we wanna add it somewhere in the footer, okay? Let's go back up the top, block layout, Let's scroll down. Well, actually, let's have a look at all the regions because I really haven't seen all the regions in this new theme for Drupal. Okay, so we have a footer top, footer bottom. Okay, let's add it to the footer top. Search for main. Here we go, main navigation. And let's add the same suggestion in. So that is primary sidebar. Click on save blocks and let's scroll down. We can see our main navigation right here. And if we inspect it, it should use the same suggestion. So where is it? Here we go. So here you can see that it is using the same suggestion. So if we go ahead and override the main navigation menu template using this file name, then the markup will be displayed in this menu in the footer and also this menu in the sidebar as well. Now, this is a nice little feature of menu block. And in the future, I'll probably do a bigger video which shows you the other features of menu block, but I actually thought this feature is pretty handy. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about Drupal and other CMSs, head over to webwash.net. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a question, please leave a comment. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.